Hey guys, it's Ross Scott, and on Space Cut today we're going to take a look at Moloch's henchmen, the Corellian folks from the Solo Official Guide. And here is their spread. You see um, their coats are all covered in the salty brine from the Corellian Sea Air, as Coronet is of course right on the coast and I think it's built out into the sea, into the sea as well. So let's just see what it says about these two guys. Rebolt and Psyche. Moloch's favoured goons are Rebolt and Psyche. The pair's competition with one another to prove who is toughest amuses the White Worm Enforcer. Though Rebolt is currently the better animal handler, Psyche is quickly catching up. Psyche shows a gentle fondness for the Sibian hounds, a trait his rival Rebolt thinks is a weakness to exploit. Someday, Psyche hopes to set his favourite hound, Tower Mat, on Rebolt and end this petty contest. <laughs> so about the Corellian hounds here, it says... Corellian hounds, fleet-footed canine creatures with a keen sense of smell. These hounds come in a wide variety of breeds from across Corellia. Sibians are bred for hunting and attack. So it has an osteoderm plate ridge here, like a spinal type of thing. And obviously you see the control harness that it's wearing, and I'm sure that can shock it if it doesn't do as it's told. And sensitive nasal passage here, big nose, and regenerating teeth here. So it loses teeth, it grows another one, I guess it migrates to here. So mm, that's lovely. <laughs> now, about Rebolt. Oh, no, just a little bit more about uh, Psyche. You see his protective padding. Because obviously, <laughs> thick dog handlers, you know, when um, they're training their dog to attack, you know, like for the police and everything, and it grabs their arm. You've got to have it um, armoured, or you're going to get bitten right through. Waterproof boots. Very useful in a coastal city, of course. And heavy puncture-proof hound handling gloves. <laughs> Certainly need that to handle these hounds. Now, about Rebolt, an unimaginative and pitiless goon who carries out Moloch's orders unquestioningly, Rebolt is driven by ambitions that outstrip his abilities. Happens so often in the Empire bureaucracy as well. Growing up in the den, he aspired to one day be Proxima's head boy, but his attempts were repeatedly undermined by smarter scrum rats like Han and Kira. Now it says, Thugs of a certain rank are honoured with breathing collars that fan purified air into their faces rather than being forced to wear restrictive breathing masks. And that's this here. So let's see what else it says about him. Sealable pocket holding money, ration bar, and vibro shiv. So his little knife is here. You can barely make it out because of all of the brine that's encrusted on his coat. And the atmospheric treatment tubing, which is this. Now, this is um, Rebolt's weapon, so let's just see what it says about that. Commander of Staves. Rebolt backs his bullying words with a bludgeoning staff he made for himself out of a snapped transmission mast with ends wrapped in leather straps. If Rebolt connects it to a power cell, the staff's conductive surfaces give it an extra jolt. He has nicknamed his club the Commander of Staves after the Sabak face card. And has conductive tungsten metal, which is this part here. Weighted end when housing a power cell is this end. Then about this end, insulating rykrit leather strap tightly wound. So that is the handle. 
Yes. So they're both from Corellia, they're both human, they're both affiliated with the White Worms for their sins. I'm sure they will not have that long a life of crime because lower level goons like that, they never last for very long. <laughs> so Rebot says to Ham, we'll make sure you don't get lost on your way to see Lady Proxima. I expect so. There you go, guys. The Corellian thugs. Now, I do believe there is a um, toy coming out that is one of these with the hound, but I have not seen that for sale yet. So I expect in due course I shall be acquiring that. So yes, the Corellian thugs of the White Worm Gang. Fascinating extra details, as always. And I did like the uh, the hounds in there. They're pretty vicious. Um, I expect they will also turn up in the cannon sooner or later as well. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment and suggest what topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.